In a recent episode of Diewolf 20's Let's Play series, he was playing around with applied uh, energetics, and he was making a way to get um, tesseract tesseracts made automatically using the molecular assembly chamber here. And he he didn't quite get it completed. It's because he was looking to see how to automate the creation of the the um, unattuned tesseracts. The problem being is that they need two machines in order to make it work. See, and I've figured out it's not too hard to do. So you've got the two machines, magma crucible, which you use to melt down the ender pearls, and the liquid transposer, which fills up the empty tesseract frame. And the thing that makes it so easy is that Applied Energistics doesn't really care where it comes in and where it comes out, these items, just as long as something happens that makes the item. So I've got the interface up here, and in it I've got the assembler pattern. So I've got four ender pearls and one tesseract frame makes the unattuned tesseract. Yeah, that's what you that's what you expect. Four ender pearls is because I did a little testing, and I found that one ender pearl gives 250 milli buckets, so one quarter of a bucket of molten ender. And if you look on the unattuned tesseract, oh, I press the right button, it tells you here. This tells you how much you need: 1,000 milli buckets. So it just means four of them. And all you need is just for that to go into a chest. It's simple enough. That's all that these interfaces do with the processing. It just puts it into something, into a nearby inventory. I can't open that at the moment, but anyway, that's where it goes into. And then I've got emerald pipes here with just the Otaka gates on them. And I can't show it, because once you've got the gates on, you can't actually click on the gate. So remember, if you're building this, set the gates up before, or set the pipes up before you put the gates on, because you can't set the pipes after. And this one just will only pull out emerald, um, ender pearls. This one only pulls out the empty tesseract frames. So this will go through, melt them down, go through that, fill it up, and back into the system. Now I haven't set it up for a whole making tesseract thing. I just want to do it quickly. So I'll show it here. Got plenty of ender pearls, got plenty of tesseract frames. Let's craft a couple of these untuned ones. If they do. Yeah, you can see it's waiting on the two of them. I can't actually look in there because it's not. you can kind of see the ender pearls going to there. They're all piled up in this. Of course, they go straight out because they're all part of the same mod. They're all it's easy enough to work. If these were different mods, the the liquid duct would have to be one space further apart in order to set it to output mode and then so on and so forth. Then this falls into here and it fills it up and then boom, out it goes. Looking here, we've got the one in there, still waiting on the second one. It just says waiting until it gets it back in. Use it up, use all the stuff in there, and we've got two unassumed tesseracts. That's a fairly, fairly simple build, it's really not very really space intensive. Um, you could probably, well, uh, might be possible to change it a little bit, make it a bit more compact. So instead of three wide, you could do it only two wide. Yeah. Anyway, that's my take on the build. I hope you think it's a good one. Let me know if you think of any better ways to do it. Or if you've made a, an entire system that can make a whole tesseract 
just with a click of the button? Let me know that too. Put it up as a video response if you can. Okay. Thanks for watching.